What's up, my friend? Welcome to the channel. This is DK here, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about Mailing Boss and specifically Builderall's new 5.0 Mailing Boss platform. And I wanna show you a couple of little nuggets and kind of hacks that I've found in relation to Mailing Boss 4.0. There's definitely some nuances, some different things in here that you wanna be aware of. And so first one I wanna show you is testing an email. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna draft up an email and I wanna show you how to test it because the way that you would normally test it in 4.0, and what I'll do is I'll just open up 4.0 so we can kind of compare the two side by side and you can see apples to apples. I'll test up you know, pretty much the same email so you can literally see it side by side. So what we'll do is we'll go over here to all emails. Okay, we'll hit create new. So this will be the old way. And we'll just call this uh, test YouTube. I'm just gonna pick a list, doesn't really matter. And we're gonna go through the process. We'll hit save and next. I'll grab my template and I'll show you in Mailing Boss 5.0 how to grab a template because you have to do it. Notice here in 4.0, we grab the template as we're already go th going through the email process where in 5.0, you have to get the template before you start the email process. So here, what we'll do is I'm just gonna go uh, testing out this for YouTube. You are freaking awesome. Or this, huh? Click here if you're awesome. Because you know you're gonna wanna click there. Anyway, we don't even need a link. We're just gonna test it out, right? So do the same thing. Boom, save and next. Now, little uh, subject line. We're gonna just name that Daniel subject line. We'll just put, you are awesome. Well, actually what we'll put is email to, uh, whatever, I don't even know. We're just We're just making stuff up. YouTube test email. Yeah, oh, there you go. YouTube test email. Doesn't really matter. Anyway, so when we get to this point, this is where you would test in 4.0. And when you go to hit send test email, I know for me, all the other emails that I've used before, they automatically populate, which made it really easy. And then I could just hit send test email and then boom, that would be off. Now let's go look at it through 5.0 and it's a little bit different. So what we're going to do is we're going to create just a regular broadcast, a straight up campaign or a broadcast that we're gonna send out to our list. So I'm gonna go to email and then I'm gonna go to templates. So I'm not gonna hit create over here. I'm gonna go to template. And then right here where it says, let's start sending, you're gonna send there, okay? And then we'll get here and we'll just kind of call this YouTube test demo. And I'm gonna do a regular broadcast. Now remember, one thing to think about if you're setting up workflows, and this is just a, rem a reminder from another video I did, okay? If you're setting up a workflow, you cannot use a sequence email in a workflow, okay? You have to use specifically, there's our test email right there. You have to use a campaign. Got to use a campaign in a workflow. Uh, whereas before, you could use a sequence. Can't do that here in 5.0. Anyway, we're going to name our email, right? We're going to go through here. Uh, let me just pull down my little doodad. We're going to hit save. So the process is is kind of similar. Oh, wait, I got to hit regular broadcast. That's why it wasn't going through. I got to hit regular broadcast. And we're going to pick a list. Again, list doesn't matter. We're going to go through. And obviously, there's your template. See, what was happening to me was I was getting to this point where down here it would have the lore and it's some, you know, whatever jargon. Um, standard font is in there, standard font in print and or well, the copy. And I was looking up here, I'm like, where can I select my template? And then it dawned on me, I had to go into the templates first and then start from there versus going in through uh, this way here. Now, again, what we'll do is we'll say, uh, we'll just call this YouTube test email, okay? And then I'll put our co same copy here. Click here, Oops. click here if you are awesome, you know you are. All right, there we go. So we're gonna move on to the next phase. 
All right, so now this is the point where you would send a test email because here it is right here, send test email. Now here's a big difference, okay? When you're over in 4.0, see how the emails auto-populate right here? All your emails that you want to send a test to, they auto-populate. Where when you go over here, they don't because I can, I can double tap, I can try to get it to come up. So here's a great little hack. I always like to send to multiple email accounts. When I test an email, I generally don't just send it to one email account. I like to send it to multiple email accounts to make sure it hits the primary folder in every account. Okay, so what I do is on a Word doc, I just created, I just typed in my three emails right here. So this is a nice little hack that I would suggest is you go in here and you literally just copy your emails. You come back over here and you just paste them in and you hit save. Then your, your test email is sent. That is just kind of trial and error that I figured out in going through this a few different times that if you're using 5.0 and you're sitting there and you're manually testing your emails, kind of a pain in the butt. So there's my test email right there. So essentially you want to make sure obviously your emails are going to land in primary. As you can see right here, primary folder, boom. Uh, this is the one from 4.0. This right here is the one from 5.0, you know, essentially both the same email. But the whole point is to be able to have some emails go to a word document and then literally just type in all the emails that you want to send to put a little comma in between each one okay so uh daniel j Cup at gmail comma and then your other ones save those in there and then you just copy them and paste them and then you send your test email off just like that pretty simple pretty easy to do but just wanted to share that hack with you because again that's just something that i learned in going through this process now, let me show you one other thing. This part is also a little bit different. We're gonna go over searching for a specific email in a list. Now, as an example, and I'll show you the difference here. We're gonna go over here and I'm gonna go to lists, okay? I'll show you the way that you would normally search for it. Let's say you're looking for a subscriber, right? Uh, you're gonna look for a subscriber. I would go over here to one of my bigger lists um, and I'm gonna go here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in the email, okay? I'm gonna type in my own email and I'll show you, this is where you would norm normally search for it. This is what it looks like in 4.0. I type in the email, I hit enter, and then boom, you can see it there, okay? You can see it in there. Uh, looks like someone was trying to use my email here. Whoever, Rob. Riggs is Rob Riggs if you're watching and you're testing my email no bueno bro no bueno um anyway we'll just go ahead and remove Rob from my list because nothing worse than when people try to copy or clone you pain in the butt so that's how anyway that's how you search in right there that's how you search in 4.0 pretty straightforward right you go into the list and then you do that now well this is what it looks like over in 5.0, it's a little bit different. It's just, it's some of these little subtleties that you have to get used to going over from 4.0 to 5.0. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to subscribers and then I'm gonna go do all subscribers. Now you could do this if you go to individual lists, but it's easier to go to all subscribers. I don't even know if you have that option here in, oh yeah, you do have that whole subscribers right there. But either way, this is kind of how we would do it here. Now, once you're here and you're looking at this, you have to, select a filter okay so this is how you're going to look for a specific subscriber on a list here in 5.0 so you're going to add a condition okay subscribers email is equal to and then you literally just put that in there so i could type in i don't have to type in the whole thing i could type in some of it i could put you know if you just want to put like a phrase or a word or something like that you could say it contains so as an example i'll just look for uh, my name right here and I'll show you what that looks like. So I have two emails here and then what you can do is with each subscriber you can look at an overview, you can make modifications, that type of thing. But that's how you search for it in Mailing Boss 5.0. So if you have any questions in regards to Mailing Boss 5.0, I know for me it was a little bit of an interesting switch but as I go through this platform and I continue to find little hacks and nuances and little subtleties and differences between Mailing Boss 4.0 and Mailing Boss 5.0, I will pop a video out and I will record that for you. If you have any suggestions or want me to cover anything specific 
inside of Mailing Boss 5.0 or anything to do with Builderall in general, uh, do me a favor, drop a comment down below. If you watch the video up until this point, first off, thank you. You are awesome, my friend. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already because over 60% of my audience is not subscribed, which is crazy. It's also cool that, you know, you guys are watching my content, but I would love it if you would subscribe. It helps more than you know, but also do me a favor and just hit, comment the word watch. Just let me know that you made it to this point in the video. Comment the word watch. I would really appreciate that. And uh, if you have any feedback, feedback or there's anything you want me to cover with Builderall or Mailing Boss, do me a favor make a suggestion down below and I would be happy to shoot a video for you. All right, that is it for this Mailing Boss and Builder All video, my friend. I will see you on the next video on my channel. Take care, be awesome. I'll see you real soon.